welcome back to paradise welcome to Havelock Island there isn't another word I think we've used all the words that exploring a paradise island on a tiny little scooter this is India I know I still can't believe it and so the hike commences I don't think I've got the stamina Ugh. Just, just drop it on the floor. Oh. <laughs> oh, cheers, this is deserved. Good morning and welcome back to paradise. Welcome to Havelock Island in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands in India. We are currently geographically closer to Thailand and Indonesia than we are mainland India but we are starting our day on one of the most beautiful beaches I have ever seen. This is Govind Nagar Beach and we are staying in our resort right there literally 20 meters from paradise. Over the next couple of days we are going to be exploring as much as humanly possible from one of the most beautiful islands on planet earth but first we need to start our day for swim in our private pool. Good morning. Good morning. Havelock Island is absolutely beautiful. So the island itself is 18 kilometers long and eight kilometers wide, which should mean that we can get to see quite a lot of it. And our beach is actually connected to two of the other main beaches. So you have Vijay Nagar and you have Katha Patha, which I believe we can just walk along to, but I don't really see the point right now when we can chill out at this. This is literally just outside of our resort out of our room it's untouched paradise pretty much it's beautiful this really is picture perfect if i showed you the backdrop behind me right now where would you think we are thailand philippines maldives Probably not India. When you think of beaches in India, you probably think of Goa. But the beaches of Goa certainly aren't as beautiful as this. I think we're now actually currently walking up towards Vijay Nagar Beach. And you can see in between the resorts, it is just untouched, pristine paradise for kilometers on end. You've got the local fishing boats and you can just find a little spot to yourself yeah i mean the whole beach is pretty much empty we're really lucky the weather's good i'm not gonna jinx we're it we're not gonna but... jinx it this was the risk coming <laughs> in monsoon season but at the moment it's paying off and you do get the beaches to yourself to say a huge thanks to Skyscanner for being a long-term sponsor of our channel. We use Skyscanner all the time. We can guarantee that you will have used it at least once in your travel lifetime. We are actually teaming up with Skyscanner to bring you three travel hacks that we can guarantee will change the way that you travel. The first one might be pretty obvious, but it's definitely one that we can learn from, and that is hand luggage. Every time we travel to somewhere new, we do always have our big case with us, often because we're on our long trips. But if we do go on a city break, we should definitely just take hand luggage. Not only does it save you money, but it's so much easier when you need to get on public transport. Um, and generally just traveling is so much easier with lighter luggage. You also save time because you don't have to go through the checking queues and dropping your bag. You literally can just go straight through to security. So yeah, hand luggage is a massive one. Saving money, saving space, and it's much easier to travel. The second travel hack that we absolutely stand by is to never exchange currency in your home country. We used to always do this and we learned the hard way because when you do arrive in the country, the exchange rate is often better. We would definitely recommend to go to a currency exchange in the area that you're traveling to. And the very last travel hack that we have for you is to use the Skyscanners Explore everywhere button now you may not know this but basically the explore everywhere button will show you all of the destinations that you can fly with starting from the cheapest those are our three travel hacks that we think will completely change how you travel so this is vj naga beach it's essentially the same beach as what our hotel is on and you can see down there well, maybe in the distance, there's a lot of boats going out for the day. 
whether that's a diving trip, an island hopping trip, or pretty much anything in between. But wherever you look, 360 degrees all the way along this stretch of the island is just unbelievable. It really is the Maldives of India. The sea is a little bit cooler on this end as well. But yeah, like, I mean, there isn't another word. I think we've used all the words that you can to describe it. It really is the Maldives of India. But the plan for the next couple of days on this island is to go and firstly rent a scooter and then visit all the best beaches, all the best beaches Havelock has to offer. Apparently it has one beach that won an award as the best beach in the whole of Asia. So the pressure is definitely on, but I, I can't believe we're staying like, the beach is there, our room is, is right here, this, I don't want to leave. I know, it's a hard choice isn't it, it's like do you stay at your paradise beach or do you head on out and check out all the other paradise beaches? And this is pretty much the main road of the island, I think there's only, have you said two roads? That pretty like, much two roads. Two roads on the island and it has pretty much, hello! everything that you want on this road so you have loads of scooter rentals different hotels different small restaurants our hotels recommended us roy travel and they said it's 500 rupees for a scooter we need a scooter to get around this little island it's something we really really wanted to do um so yeah let's pick a scooter namaste hello can we get a scooter yes yeah it's okay we can get a scooter Okay. okay. Which one is your nicest one? Nice. Your best one. The best one. The best scooter. Uh, blue. Blue, I like blue. Yeah, blue is good. Blue, blue sounds good. good. So it's 500 for 24 hours? Yes. Okay. Who is Roy? Are you Roy? Yes. Oh, hi nice Roy. Nice to meet you Roy. <laughs> a good deal because we're not actually going to be having it for 48 hours um he's given it to us basically half price for the second day so we'll be paying 700 for 36 until, hours for 36 hours yes and we are off boy does it feel good to be back on a scooter on an island this is like the ultimate freedom exploring a paradise island on a tiny little scooter where the speedometer doesn't work <laughs> and nor does the petrol showing thing so i have no idea when we need to get any gas This is why, oh, if you come to Havelock Island, you need to rent a scooter. Hello. You need to just stop in the middle of anywhere, in the middle of nowhere and take it all in. Look at these roads, just untouched, pristine rainforest. It's unbelievable. It really is. I think like the views around the road have got better the further along we've driven. The roads have slightly got worse in that sense and I think that makes you feel like you're heading into something extremely natural, extremely like paradise. That has got to be my favourite thing to do in the world. Grab a scooter on a tiny little island and cruise around but we have made it to Radha Nagar Beach, a blue flag certified beach and the parking 
was just down there. The parking was just down there next to a few tiny little restaurants and I think it was free. Well, we haven't paid <laughs> anyway, but I can already see from here, the watercolor is absolutely superb. Like I said, this one best beach in Asia in 2004. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be spectacular. You can still see the beautiful watercolour but the waves are quite strong and it's pretty empty to be honest. I was expecting this beach to be really busy. Another good point of visiting during the down season or the monsoon season is that you get the beaches almost empty. It's paradise. Honestly this is absolute paradise. I presume the whole beach is probably three or four kilometres long and I've seen pictures of this beach on billboards all around the island and if you come in the summer in the peak season you're squashed there's no room for anything but we have bright sunshine crystal clear blue waters and almost the entirety of this beach to ourselves so this is us we have our own little spot on our slice of paradise i actually don't have towels with us this time so luckily we were given the beautiful scarves that i'm using as our little beach towels but look at this can you see anybody else <laughs> there's only a few people down there we've got basically a big chunk of this massive beach to ourselves it's incredibly impressive honestly apart from the wind we're actually on the western side of the island and i presume this time of the year this is the side that gets hit by the wind so where we're staying at our hotel the sea is calm there is no wind at all but here we're getting battered a little bit but the sun is out i still can't believe this is i was about to say this is thailand <laughs> no this is india this is india it's a little bit rough i don't think you're actually allowed to swim all the way out i think you can only stay to about this sort of area but yeah one thing i've noticed on indian beaches you have like the indian lifeguards and if you go in when they say no they go crazy they, they get the microphones crazy. out You know the best part about this beach? The fact that there are no hotels, there are no sunbeds, and there are no blooming annoying touts trying to get you into their restaurant, get you onto the water sports. And I think that is why in 2020, this beach got the blue flag award for like ecotourism because it's so well maintained, it's clean. And this is India. I'm, I, I keep repeating myself. I feel like a broken record, but that, this, you, it doesn't look like India. Namaste. 50? Oh, you have the skills. Woohoo! <laughs> this is so needed. It's fresh? Yeah. Very fresh. And you've had, ah, oh, you're very good by sub. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank Thank you. You Thank you very much. Look at that. Ready? Oh, it is delicious. Let me try. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, bud. Mm. Perfect. It's just what you need because there's nowhere. Oh, it's a bit bitter because there's nowhere on the beach to get a drink or any food. Come outside. There's a couple of little shack type places and a few coconut men. <laughs> just. A 15 minute drive back through the forest we have made it to the coolest this is the coolest looking restaurant watch the pond i think it's cafe four or something yeah watch the pond it's beautiful just literally on the side of the road namaste are you open it's open for food ah yeah, thank, you. Great. thank you thank bad. you it's really beautiful in here i think it's actually next to the hotel give you the helmet oh molly oh ah, thank you thank you very much thank you bad. oh my god there's a thank helmet you stand Love it. This is so nice. Where do you want to sit? Over here? Yeah, let's look out at the pond. <laughs> to get some salt back in our body, we went for a salty latte, which is very salty but really nice. And we got egg fried rice and a paneer wrap. So in total, I think it's going to be about six or seven hundred rupees, which I don't think is too bad considering this is a fancy a place. It's quite island. modern as well. It's modern. It's clearly very new. What's the new. word? Hip? 
hip. I yeah. hate that word as well. What about that's, twi that's twice you've said something. <laughs> Everything about this island is different to the rest of India, from the calmness to the palm trees, even to the restaurants. It's the first time I've found real like. I don't know. It's the worst oh, word ever. Oh, thank you. Wow, oh, that is amazing. a lot. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Yeah, it's just completely different, isn't it? Hip. Yeah. It's the worst <laughs> word ever. But you're just driving along and you find so many of these cool little. Thank you so much. Jungle restaurants or beach front shacks, and the food is even slightly different. It's sort of like contemporary Indian with a mix. Hence my little paneer wrap. You're obsessed with these. They're so good. They're like a perfect, perfect lunch dish. Not just amazing food. Little Bruno. Well, he's not so little. Not so he? little. <laughs> Big Bruno. Not a bad spot to park up the bike after a long day exploring the island and the food at cafe number four was amazing if you're looking for somewhere for lunch while you're cruising around the island definitely check it out but this is now getting parked up for the night because we are going to get changed and we're going to look for somewhere on Havelock to have a few drinks this evening we've heard there's quite a few places Good morning from the Maldives of India. We are up bright and early, about to go for our morning swim and have a look at that weather. Look at that crystal clear turquoise Gatorade type water. It's even clearer today. It's very high tide, but last night we achieved the impossible. We found beer on the island of Havelock. After 48 hours, of searching we finally found the holy grail in a bar called something different a really cool bar and we're probably gonna head down there for lunch today but we're gonna be getting back on the scooter and exploring paradise I didn't think it could get any bluer neither did I to be honest it's actually more of like a clearer turquoisey blue even when the Sun isn't shining it's blue but I think we're just incredibly lucky you know this is monsoon season this is down season rainy season and we are getting some blue sky, don't want to jinx it too much, but blue sky and sunshine to make this look even better. Everything was going so well. We had to have a quick change of our bike because our didn't start this morning to a little red number and we are just driving to the left of our hotel, which is actually, I would say where the main all well, the bars, yeah. all the restaurants, well, the bars that you can find, <laughs> some of the restaurants, all of the resorts, and Rory was nice enough to sort us out the new little red number. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I'm getting lost for words on this island. You drive through coconut groves of trees of jungle and then you come to this place this is Kalapatha beach which actually isn't rated as one of the top two beaches on the island but so far I'm thinking this is my favorite maybe because this side of the island at this time of the year is completely calm and we can finally go for we can finally go for a proper swim wow this is untouched you've just got trees that have fallen down into the sea no shops no restaurants i like it not too shabby not too bad at all it's unbelievably clear i thought our beach was clear this seems to have less like leaves and branches doesn't it it's just pure pure water no rocks there's a bit of a drop off oh it's a little bit rocky oh yeah a little bit oh gosh oh wow oh, oh this is good it's pebbly well, I think you can swim. We can swim. I don't know. We can swim. Yeah, you can. Get over that bit. Oh my gosh. Go, go, go. I'm going, I'm going. Give me a second. I'm checking my pockets. I'm checking my pockets. Let's do it. Oh, this is India, by the way. Not the Maldives. 
not the Philippines, not Thailand. This is India. And look at the watercolour. Oh my gosh. This is India. I know. I still can't believe it. I feel like we're going to have said the same thing like 10 times, but this water is incredible. The backdrop, the coconut trees, the sand, the blue water. Ugh. It is the definition of paradise. And so the hike commences. We have driven around to the other side of the island and we are currently embarking on the 45, we've been told 45 minute hike through the jungle to Elephant, Elephanta, Elephant Beach. I'm hoping it's like this the whole way. Me too, because we are in sliders and because the weather has been like in between rain and not rain, it's a bit slippy. And I don't think I can, I don't think I've got the stamina for a full on hike. Because this beach is so remote, oh my God, it's sludgy. You can actually get a boat to take you all the way around the island and pull in at the cove. But who wants to do that? You know, you've come all the way to the Andaman Islands. You want a little bit of adventure. And I think we're like the only ones at the moment. There wasn't many bikes parked up doing this 45 minute hike through the jungle. It better be worth it. Your turn. So there's actually part of the path that is complete bog. Are you doing it? Don't speak to me. Oh, if you fell over, it'd be so good. Oh my God, it sounds horrible. Can you hear it? We just went past a guy and he was like, <gasps> do it barefoot, but. Ugh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose these. Definitely wear trainers if you come during oh, the monsoon season. <laughs> just, drop, just drop it on the floor. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've lost a shoe. Molly's fallen over. No, I can't, I'm in the sludge. Look, oh <laughs> careful, careful. <laughs> Please be careful. I, I can't move. Go the other way. No, Matt, I can't. <laughs> You're going to have to go the other way. Quick. I have no shoe on. <laughs> no, you're all muddy. I'm not this end. Oh. Please don't fall. You'll fall. You're going to fall. Oh. Don't fall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh my God, this is horrible. Why did we decide to do this? Okay breathe it turns out that the beach oh my gosh i don't know where i'm going is actually closed because the weather is just too rough uh, oh! oh my god that made me jump there are like giant centipedes right here oh where am i going the weather is too rough at sea so none of the boats can get to the beach so there's no one there's no lifeguards or anyone there so it is closed and they said the path is too dangerous to continue going. It is just thick sludge the whole way I wish someone because of the rain. We started. Yeah, we asked a lady and she said, yeah, 45 minutes, but then some guys come past that are doing works in the jungle. And they said, no, it's closed. This was up there with one of the stupidest things we've ever done. When we drove past yesterday at the entrance to the start of the hike, there were loads of people selling coconuts, walking along. Obviously there was heavy rain overnight. The beach is closed because it's too dangerous. And so is the path. Let's have a look at, let's have a look, turn around. Yeah, Molly's fallen over twice. <laughs> we need to get to another beach to rush, uh, we need to get to another beach to wash off ASAP because I am filthy, I'm hot, and this was just so dangerous. Oh, cheers. This is deserved. Oh my God. I feel like they need to have signs because that was chaotic and dangerous. And I'm fuming. I've lost my sunglasses, which now means I need to hunt for some sunglasses on the island. We literally washed off in the sea. We had to wash off into the sea. I still haven't got it all off. Like we must have looked horrific, but we've come into the high tide bar. Um, you can see 
the beach down there it's just so needed after that honestly i i am stressed from that it was terrible honestly <laughs> she fell over twice but this mm, this was all worth it only the second place on the whole island that we have found beer it's a lovely little bar i would go in there but they're playing music and they've also got a stunning little private beach and look at these palm trees it's not all bad wow i mean if you're coming to the Andamans to have a look and money is no issue, this would be an incredible resort to stay at. You've got a huge pool there. You're surrounded by sort of the palm tree forest. And then you come down, look at this. This was needed. Sometimes you need to splash out on an overpriced beer after falling over twice and almost getting stuck in the forest wow this is lovely they've got their own private beach with mangroves but at the moment the tide is really really far out on this side of the island cheers when all things go wrong turn to nachos and beer paneer nachos which i think is really unique now this is what you do when you have a couple of beers and some nachos a fancy resort is you sneak in and you have a little sunbathe <laughs> by their pool. This is what we're doing today. I think we deserve this. We deserve this. After Molly collapsed twice, <laughs> this is what we deserve. Sneaking into a five-star resort's pool. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. I'm good. How are you? Fine, fine. Thank you. Thank you, Ved. Oh, we are changed. We have dropped our, ba our bike back to Roy's and now we have been picked up on our way to something different. This is where we came last night for a few beers and today we are coming for a few more beers and our last dinner on Havelock Island. I love this place. They come and pick you up from your hotel and drop you back free of charge and we got here a little bit early because they have got happy hour on and two for one hunter so i'm trying a brand new indian beer cheers it's good and then we're gonna get some food you know what it's the little touches that bring you back to places not only do they pick you up drop you off they took a photo of us yesterday that we got to take home in a little frame and the owners are actually travelers themselves and they say like they try and keep the prices as low as possible they strive for that but obviously with certain goods getting them to such a remote island is really difficult hence like tomatoes and things like that if you have that in your dish it's going to cost you more so this might just look like cheese on toast but it isn't your typical cheese on toast this is the digly purr chili cheese toast they are chilies from north andaman island and they look spicy not too spicy it's incredibly fresh they bake their own bread as well so you can see it's thick and the cheese is so so good good morning the food last night at something different was perfect honestly if you're coming here it's definitely the best restaurant on the island but as you can see we are back at the ferry port and our two to three days on this tiny little paradise island has come to an end, highly recommend it. Come here, rent a scooter, get lost, explore, see some paradise beaches, and then come back to the ferry port and head to an even smaller island of Neil. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. We have got so many more videos coming up in India, not just in the paradise islands of Andaman. I'm gonna get on the ferry. We'll see you in the next one from Neil Island.